I'm not 100% sure, but I think my neighbor guy is trying to tell me something. So I've got a riddle for you. How do you know when your chain's not sharp? Because after you've sharpened it, three or four of your longtime subscribers let you know that it's still not sharp enough. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. I'm Gord Potter, and we're back at the bench. My mother always used to tell me I'm a pretty stubborn guy, and I am. She always used to say, you had to tell me at least three times to do something or to change my opinion. And she was right. Because more than three of you have been telling me lately that even though I keep sharpening this saw, it's still not sharp. So I dropped by to see my friend Ron at the chainsaw clinic this week and picked up some brand new files for my two-in-one. We're gonna do a take two here. I'm gonna put the new files in, resharpen the saw, and then gonna head back out to the log pile and test it out again and see if in fact, these files are long overdue for replacement. So as you know, you can replace the files in this two-in-one. You're gonna find that the round files are the same round files you, you get for hand filing. It's the exact same one. However, the flat file that you find is actually a special file made only for the two-in-one. So it's not gonna be a standard one that you pick up. You need to pick it up. It comes in a package that looks like this. I have to tell you, probably due to a lack of experience, I didn't really realize how terrible my files were. When you take a look at a new file, and you try to run your finger across it, it's really coarse, noticeably coarse. However, <laughs> you run your fingers across my old files in the two-in-one, they're smooth as a baby's bottom. That might explain why I kept doing all that work trying to sharpen it and you good folks kept telling me you kept seeing sawdust. <laughs> so we're gonna get out back to the log pile and see if it makes a difference. If you're not sure which way to put the files in, you can't go wrong. They've molded the plastic in such a manner that if you try to put them in the wrong way, it won't fit properly. Notice the shank here? It won't go down for some reason. You need to turn this one up, and once you put it in the right way, it slides all the way down. Same thing goes with the other file, except it's upside down the other way. It will only fit in one way, or it'll stick up if you put it in wrong. One thing you'll notice with the flat file, there's a chamfered edge, I'm not sure, or an angled edge on one side of it or one end of it. You can only get this in one way properly. And if you take a look into the tool, you'll notice that there's a corresponding mold that fits that end. So you know this one goes in this way. And you're good to go. Whether you're using hand files or a two-in-one, Notice the difference in sound between the old files and these brand new files. Here's what the old file sounded like when I was sharpening the chain. And here's what the new file sounds like when I'm sharpening the chain. So many of you have asked me over the last couple of years, GP, how do you know when it's time to change the files out of your two-in-one? Or how long do they last? And I honestly didn't know, and I still don't know. However, this is the fourth year I've been using this two-in-one, and I'd be willing to say that was too long. So I think what's best to do is just keep checking it with your finger from time to time. You might even want to just buy two sets of files so you have a new one on hand all the time. And that way, if you're not sure, you run your finger over the old one, run your finger over the new one, 
and you'll know if it's time to change it or not. I'm pretty sure. At least that's what I'm going to do from now on. So I'm going to tension this chain properly. And then we're going to head out, we're going to try it out on another log and see if there's any difference from last week. Was it faster than the other day? We'll find out after I edit. But in all fairness, this log, as you could tell, was a little bit wider in diameter than the other one. You could tell because the bar got lost inside it. Either way, it was more of the case of did it cut differently? And I have to admit, it did feel like it was eating a lot easier and I think quicker or more efficiently. Big question is, Do any of you good folks have kind of a tip or a trick of the trade to kind of know when it's time to change your files, whether they're hand files or a two-in-one? Because I'll be honest, I would have bet hands down that that chain was super sharp the other day. And it clearly wasn't, because you were right. There was a lot of dust coming out of the front of it. Not as much out the back, but you could see it clearly in the front. I'm kind of thinking that over time, maybe I just kind of lost the memory of what a really sharp chain felt like and cut like because it happens so slowly over a period of time. My neighbor guy told me that these files are not made to last. I mean, they are pretty inexpensive and kind of chuckled and said, they're certainly not made to last four years. <laughs> Probably can't argue with him on that. But hey, let me know if you do have kind of a way or a tip or some advice for how you know it's time to change your files. Is it just by touch or do you have some other method you use? And also let me know, do you think it cut better today than it did in the comparison video or the comparison side by side in this video? I'd like to know in the comments. And hey, I'd be remiss if I didn't send out a big thanks to you folks. I certainly realize how fortunate I have to have such a great community on this channel. I've learned a lot off you over the years and I can add this one to the list. Have a great week out there. Be kind to each other. I'm Gord Potter and you've been watching GP Outdoors. Cheers. Have a great week. Please be kind to each other. I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter, and you've been watching GP Outdoors. Cheers. <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> we gotta do that part again.